Welcome back to Canvas Tutorials with Evan. Today we're going to look at how to create an assignment. Specifically, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can create an assignment and hopefully increase your productivity or give you different ways that you can um, start or think through the process of assignment creation inside of Canvas. So let's get started. Here again, I have my normal dashboard with my normal courses, as well as I have two sandbox courses here that allow me to uh, just play around and create assignments without having to worry if I'm doing something wrong. If you haven't created your own sandbox course, I encourage you to watch that video. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click into my sandbox. And here I, I've chosen my home page to be modules. So you can see it already looks like modules, but I could even click into the modules having trouble with my my face there there we go and it, it looks the same so the first way i want us to learn is actually through the module page now the reason why i i, I choose the modules is that the modules represent the units or whatever that bigger structure that you will use in your course so for example maybe you're going to plan yours out week by week and so instead of saying uh, the unit name here, you might have a title such as a week three, and that's fine. Um, or you'll have unit names, or maybe you'll even be using a day-to-day -day module. It's okay. Um, but however you'll be doing your modules, this is going to be that big package that you use to group together assignments and tasks and quizzes, et cetera, et cetera. And so this will be probably the most common place most people will start from. So if I'm here in my module and I have, I have a module here, um, and we'll just go ahead and click publish there. I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus sign right here. And what it does is it takes me out to this item uh, posting. So it, as you can see here, it says add item to, and then the name of whatever I've named that module. Next, you see that it, it's not it does not limit me only to assignments is that when I'm designing my module, it gives me all the different options between quizzes, just dis discussion posts, uh, external URLs. Those are site other sites that I can, I can use. And if I had other assignments that I've already created, it would list them here and I could just choose them and add them. Okay. So notice that I can't just click add item. I need to actually create an assignment. So here I've chosen add assignment, or I could say add a page add a quiz, etc. So I'm going to add assignment. The next thing I need to do is actually click the new assignment. And that opens up this little uh, text box here and allows me to create a name. Since I'm going to do week three, I'm going to say that on week three, we are going to study the bones of the upper body. You can see I've already got it there. And so I'm going to hit add item. And notice that it's already created the assignment. It's inside of the module. It's not published yet. If it was published, this symbol right here would be green, but there's no details. So for example, it's not on our calendar. Click over to calendar. It's not here. Okay. Um, and so the students don't actually know about it. Even if I hit publish, it, it wouldn't be there uh, because there's no due date. In order to get those details, I'm going to need to click in this allows me to view the assignment. If I wanted to edit it, click on edit. And then this gives me all the functionality of, of creating my assignment. I'm not going to go over all these parts here because that will happen in another video. Uh, but here we have one way we can create an assignment directly through the modules and it automatically puts it with our modules. Now, a second way that you can create an assignment is if you actually click on the assignments tab here. And this lists all of the assignments that you have, those that are in modules, that are not in modules, published, unpublished, whatever. And again, I can create an assignment. Now, um, here it just says assignments. Uh, but what if this wasn't that? Maybe this was my summative assessment. Did I spell that right? I did not. Assessment. Great and have different details. And I had another group. And so let's say formative assessment. Okay. Now, when I create uh, in here, I can actually create the assignment type. And why does that matter? Because when I have different groups, I can actually assign weights to those groups. 
And so if I, let's say I want my summative assessment to be 70% of my course and my former assessment to be 30% of the course. Now, when I automatically create it in here, it goes into that group. It's going to be assigned that total. So I'm going to create a formative assessment. Again, I'm going to click on the, the just the plus sign here, or I can click on the assignment there. I'll do here. And notice that it asks me what the type is. Okay. Okay. I want, uh, is this a directly an assignment? Is it a quiz, etc.? What's the name? I'm going to say bones of the lower body this time. And it allows me to put the due date. I'm going to say the tomorrow. How many points is this available for whatever? And I can go ahead and hit publish or save. Uh, but if I want to actually add the details of the assignment, again, I'm going to click more options. It takes me into the, the main, the main publishing, um, editor. So I'm just going to click save for now. So notice though, that when I go to modules, that assignment is not here. Okay. Uh, in order for me to have an assignment in the modules in this, uh, type of organization that the, what the students can see week one or unit three, whatever, I have to add it to the, the to the module. So if I add an assignment through the assignments tab, I have to then go into the modules, find my assignment. There it is, bones of the lower uh, lower body, and then add it. And maybe I want this one to be above it. I can reorganize it that way. But then it will be in there. And of course, I have to publish both of these in order for the students to see it. So that's way one and way two through the module or through the assignment. But there's a third way that I want to show you, and that's through the calendar. So again, modules is like I'm thinking through the unit assignment. Maybe I'm thinking through the assignment types and I'm going to have a bunch of them. I'm going to have journals and there's going to be 10 journals. So I'm just going to create them. Boom, 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 boom. Um, but maybe I'm thinking in terms of the date and I, I'm a very, uh, date oriented thinker. Okay. You can see here that the bones of the lower body is there. And so I know that I want an assignment on Monday. So I'm going to click on Monday. Okay. Monday, the 27th. And this allows me to add either an event or an assignment. An event might be, uh, for example, a Zoom meeting that we're going to have as a class, or it might be a study session, whatever your event is, that it's not an actual assignment. Okay. But since we're focusing on assignments, I'm going to click on assignment and I'm going to say bones of the head. And it already has the due date that I clicked on, but maybe I changed my mind and now I want it to be on Tuesday. And again, that's the due date. You notice here that it gives me the, the formative or summative assessment. These are my groups that I created. It even gives me, uh, the, the, which calendar it's going to show up on. And that would only show whichever ones are clicked on over here. So I could, uh, create this for any, any class, uh, depending on which ones I have clicked on over here. So for example, if I have this and this class, and then I, I go ahead and create it now it shows me different classes. And so that allows me to, to change it that way. But again, bones of the head, make it on Tuesday in my sandbox course. It's a formative assessment. I'm going to go ahead and publish it, submit now. So I have it here. It has a due date, but, uh, when I go to my courses, sandbox, and I go back out to the modules, notice that it's not here again. I have to go in and I have to add it to the modules if I want it to show up there. Okay. So, uh, what we've done today is we've looked at three different ways to create an assignment, one directly through the modules two uh, through the assignment tab and three, uh, using the calendar uh, as our starting point. I hope one of these is, is, helpful or hopefully all of them are helpful. And I'm hoping that uh, these tutorials are, are a benefit to you. Have a great day.